Dobermans and Rottweilers are both known to be excellent guard dogs, but they're much more than that. In this Doberman vs. Rottweiler video, we'll compare the two breeds and help you understand some of the differences and help you decide which of these gentle giants may be a good choice as your next pet if you're currently looking. Before we get started, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so we are motivated to bring you more videos in the future. And now, let's talk about Dobermans vs. Rottweilers. To understand each of them better, it's important to look at their pasts. Let's look at their breed histories. First up is the Doberman Pinscher. Around 1890, Louis Doberman, a tax collector in Germany, began breeding the Doberman Pinscher. Germany's civil war made some locations insecure throughout the 19th century, and the locals in those areas were particularly hostile to the tax collector. Louis Doberman, who had prior expertise with dog breeding as well, set out to create an imposing breed of dog that would serve as his companion and guardian as he worked in those dangerous districts. He successfully developed the Doberman that we know and love today by combining the Rottweiler, Black and Tan Terrier, Old, Short-Haired Shepherd, and Smooth-Haired German Pinscher. In 1900, the Doberman was recognized by the government as a distinct breed. The American Kennel Club, the AKC, now ranks the Doberman as one of the 17 most popular household dogs out of 193 breeds, but it's also one of the most popular working dogs employed in military and protective services. Now let's talk about the Rottweiler. One of the first breeds known to exist is the Rottweiler, which originated from the Roman Empire. Because there was no refrigeration during the Roman invasion of Europe, the troops had to bring live livestock with them on their journey. The Rottweiler was employed to herd the cattle and ensure their safety from both bandits and wild animals. The Rottweiler, whose name means from Rottweil, was given the responsibility of protecting the visiting butcher's hard-earned money by guarding money pouches from around the dog's neck after they were so pleased by his herding and guarding skills. He found new work as a police dog and other protective services, and he was used for his sheer strength in carrying extremely heavy things on farms and power plants after the need to protect livestock was eliminated due to the use of cattle vehicles. His characteristics and personality haven't changed much despite his several assignments. Out of 193 recognized breeds, it's now listed by the AKC as the 8th most popular dog in America, widely regarded as a wonderful family companion. Now let's look at appearance. Probably the biggest distinction between the two kinds is how they look. In comparison to the Rottweiler, which can grow to a maximum height of 27 inches and is stockier looking, the Doberman can grow to a maximum height of 28 inches. Weight is the main distinction between the two breeds. The Rottweiler is the biggest breed, weighing 135 pounds, while the Doberman may weigh up to 100 pounds. Both breeds' two most popular colors in terms of coloring are black with rust colors scattered around their bodies in various locations. The Doberman may also be found in blue, fawn, and red. However, the Rottweiler is only known to come in one major color, black. On both breeds, the rust color typically appears over the head, muzzle, chest, and legs. Although the short coats of both dogs are similar, the Doberman is smoother. The Dobermans often have narrower, pointier ears that stick up because of ear clipping methods, which is another distinction in how they look. The Rottweiler often doesn't get this operation, thus his drop ears are bigger. Temperament is important. Let's see the differences. Both breeds have comparable working histories and are known for their abilities in protection and guarding. They will monitor their property, watch for their loved ones, and even sense dangers before they even occur. Both breeds have a guarding instinct, so it's important to socialize them appropriately as small puppies to prevent either an overly protective or aggressive attitude. They share an unjust reputation, which is another similarity. Both the Doberman and the Rottweiler topped the list of dogs that people saw as aggressive during a survey on how people view dogs. The Doberman is supposed to be loving with his family, whereas the Rottweiler is seen to be more distant and aggressive. This is one of the main personality differences between the two breeds. After a hard day on patrol, the Doberman is quite friendly with his family and will gladly hop on the couch for a hug. The Doberman requires companionship much more than the Rottweiler does, despite the Rottweiler still being loving with his family. Due to its need for company, the Doberman is also known to have considerable separation anxiety when compared to other affected breeds. You need to take into account the possibility that you won't be able to leave him alone for more than just a few hours. 
exercise needs may play a part in which is a good fit for your house. Dobermans are high energy dogs that, if not given enough exercise, might develop behavioral issues. Your Doberman needs one to two hours of exercise a day if you don't want to return home to a wreck every night. This should involve plenty of high impact activity for young, healthy dogs, such as running, swimming, and chasing after balls. A Doberman can make the ideal jogging companion if you enjoy mountainous areas. On the other side, Rottweilers are a little more laid back and don't need as much intensive exercise. However, due to their energetic nature, they still require at least 45 minutes to two hours of daily exercise, depending on their age. Since they are smart, Rottweilers like games that require both thinking and running. Let's summarize what we've talked about in this video. The guarding and protective abilities of the Doberman and Rottweiler are comparable. In fact, the Doberman was developed from the Rottweiler, among a few other breeds. These two breeds would be ideal if you wanted a dog to guard your home and your family. The Doberman needs more exercise and attention than the Rottweiler since he is more active and smarter, and he dislikes spending long amounts of time alone at home. Therefore, if you want an active dog and aren't needing to leave your house for extended periods, the Doberman may be a better fit for you. What do you think? Is the Doberman or Rottweiler a better pet? Did this Doberman versus Rottweiler video answer some of your questions about the two breeds? Please leave us a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.